Uh, so hey, I'm, I'm Steven with uh, Toy Fishing Products. We're out here in Key West uh, for the Meat Mayhem with the big old beast, the king, that we just caught today. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and clean it with uh, the new 9 inch sword knife. So right now what we're just doing is um, we're just running along the backbone. We want to get as much of that cut out as we possibly can. And then we're just gonna start cutting and then we go down and there's some bones down here in the rib cage. And I just like to run the knife along them until it all duck popping out. This king will most likely go on the smoker, so not too worried about getting every single little bit. But there's a big fat filet from a, uh, a 40 pound king mackerel. I'm gonna flip it over do the other side too. All right, we can get the second half. You just gotta, you gotta find out where those bones are and try to stay on top of the bones. And I'm not trying to make a pretty filet for the, for the actual uh, dinner table. I just wanna make some smoked fish dip with this. And the one thing about the knives is that you want to make sure you got a knife that go, that can cover the entire filet. So as you're coming down through, you can actually kind of get the most of the meat off. And on the opposite side, I go from the bottom of the tail and I cut back up. And that's, that's getting both the fillets off. So we started sword about, uh, I wanna say about a year ago. Uh, I, was, I was really working up in, in New York City and I was working for a company that made products that were really made to be expendable. You know, the, the ones that would rust real quick, the ones that were made for people to buy one and throw it away. And I realized that there was nothing out there that really encapsulated people who were batshit crazy about fishing. And more specifically for us is with our slogan of uh, where the map turns blue. And what do these people need? They need quality tools that are gonna hold up to the test of time. And I'm talking about world-class quality. And what we really started off with is uh, is more specifically fillet knives because one of the knives is knives just rut really easily. You buy a knife and you throw it away after a couple months and I wanted to create something that really was made to last. When I was creating the knife, I chose a knife that was uh, had a, a harder carbon steel just so that it would hold an edge and, uh, and that they didn't have to worry about keeping resharpening it after every trip. Now, and the other thing about it is that it's got two coats of uh, one of titanium and one of Teflon on the actual blade itself. So anywhere you see black on the blade, it will absolutely not rust. Uh, the worst thing is when you get back in your boat after you've been offshore or uh, you've been gone for a week and your whole entire blade and, and knife is a rusted uh, nightmare. Uh, and it erupted onto your boat. Like, that's just a, a bummer to get through. So I wanted to make sure that the thing is impervious to rust. And realistically, 
what better people to test out a knife like this on than the Meat Mayhem guys who are out there fishing it and, and they need tools that are, are just gonna withstand that test and that abuse that they put them through. Everything that we build is an essential part for going fishing. So we have knives, pliers, uh, a pair of fishing snips, uh, and then we'll eventually expand into some tackle storage and other elements of offshore fishing.